Hey guys, it is your afternoon host, Raquel Goldie. And like I told you guys before, we are getting as much content as we can while this is all happening. And uh, I have Mark Sixma on Skype. What's going on? How are you? What's up, guys? I'm good. How are you, Raquel? All right, I got to ask you, where are you? Where in the world is Mark Sixma? Home for the first time in a while. So yeah, in the, the Netherlands. How is it there? Are you guys on full lockdown or what's going on? Uh, not completely full, but uh, we're recommended to just stay indoors and meet as few people as possible. So uh, doing live streams is the, the best way to reach people now. I was going to say, so live streams, what are, we, uh, what are we doing? What have we got in the works for that? Uh, so I'll be recording, as every other DJ in the world right now, probably a few mixes. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I'm gonna be tomorrow. I'm gonna be uh, streaming a live event for a release of a video game called uh, Doom Eternal, which is quite fitting because it's about uh, the end of the world. Uh, so, <laughs> but it's about saving the world. So let's hope I can make a difference. Yes. Yeah, so, okay. So tell me a little bit about that because that is definitely something I know a lot of DJs are interested in is gaming and even our morning show uh, guy Jordan. He wants to start doing interviews with DJs like playing um, video games, which would be super cool. So tell me a little bit about that. I mean, I guess every every producer is kind of like a, a gamer as well because it's so closely tied together. You spend a lot of time behind a computer, you know? So, um, but yeah, this game is a yeah, new Bethesda game, uh, Doom Eternal. I'm really looking forward to, uh, to play the multiplayer because I've been playing a lot of online gaming as well when I was uh, growing up. And now, unfortunately, with all the touring, etc. I mean, it's great, but uh, I don't have a lot of time to play, so... Uh, quarantine or social distancing is the perfect time to uh, excuse to do some video gaming again. I was gonna say you have all the time in the world now. Exactly. Well, I, I gotta be in the studio as well, making new music. Right. So uh, I'll, I'll keep busy for sure, um, but of course I'll miss the performing. I mean, I think that after this whole thing is over and done with, everyone's gonna be so desperate for to yeah. talk and to be around people that I think like the parties and everyone's sets and just like the music industry in general is going to completely boom for sure. I think so as well. Like the first party after the whole mess, uh, that will be one big party, I think. Oh, Hopefully okay. the first few months. And uh, I think everybody's making new music. So I think it's going to be a really exciting time as well. People have time to experiment now, like try new things. It's not like, you know, usually when you're in the in the middle of things, you know, you're, you're touring in the weekends, then you come home, recover, do two days in the studio, and then you're on, you know, on the way out again. Right. So now is the perfect time to actually, you know, sit back, chill, and then think about what you're doing. It's kind of funny, too, because I kept saying 2020 is the year of, the, like, the best music's going to come out, because as soon as 2020, like, the first day, everyone was dropping new music, new, you know, collaborations and everything, and now everyone is really going to be doing that. Right, yeah. It's going to be a good year for music, at least, I think. Yeah. I think so, too. All right, so let's talk, speaking of music, let's talk about your new track, Paint the Sky. Tell me a little bit about yes. it. It's out right now. Yeah, it's, uh, it's my collaboration with uh, Eline Esme, uh, Dutch singer. Um, the vocal was written by uh, the same team that did my uh, other vocals as well uh, on my recent uh, mini album, the tracks Million Miles and Meet Again. So uh, I think they're like really, really talented uh, songwriters and I've been working with them uh, a lot recently. So yeah, it, it's, a, it's a positive message, you know, paint the sky, uh, focus on the positive things right now. I mean, I think that's, that's all we can do, right, in, in these times. So uh, in that regard, it's, uh, you know, it's, it's a good mood lifter, I guess. And I have, to, I have to say, I was totally like creeping on your Instagram before the interview to to see what your life is like. Uh -huh. you are, are you classically trained in the piano or are you self-taught? Yeah, no, I, uh, I studied piano for, for a few years when I was uh, in high school. Um, played mostly classical music, but uh, obviously that helped me develop my, my skills as a producer as well and, you know, train my ear, which is the most important thing. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it, it helps me like the ideas from my head to get them in the in the computer is that's the playing piano is a big help there for sure. You can see it in the background actually. My... Yeah, I'm like staring <laughs> at it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So uh, I have to tune it still. I haven't tuned it in a while, so it's uh, I can still blame it on the piano if it doesn't sound good. But uh, yeah, that's maybe funny. for next time I'll, I'll give you a little recital. <laughs> I was gonna say next time you can you can do a recital for us. I think that's a great idea. Yeah.
All right, so what is something that you want to say to your fans? Obviously, we're all in a crazy uh, time right now with this coronavirus pandemic happening. What is something you want to tell them to kind of ease their minds? Because that's why we're doing these Skype interviews. Obviously, it was supposed to be mm -hmm. Miami Music Week. We were all supposed to be living our best life, having so much fun. And it's our yeah, I, know. I think it's our duty to still bring the content to, you know, your fans and our fans and our listeners that it's they deserve it. I, I think that the, the most important message is right now, you know, try to be patient as much as possible. I know it's like, it's very stressful out there and it, it's kind of hard to, you know, distance yourself from everything, but really try to do your best to, to stay inside as much as you can and, and, you know, be as safe as you can, clean your hands, uh, cough in your elbows, etc. but just be patient because it, you know, if, if, not everybody stays patient. This could go on for a very, very long time, and then it's going to be even worse. So you know, it's uh, we just got to get through it. Yeah, we got to get through it. Great words from Mark Sixma, everybody. All right. Well, hopefully next time I get to interview you uh, in real life, in person, and not over Skype. That sounds good. All right. I will talk to you soon, Mark. Okay. Thank you, Raquel. Ciao. Ciao.